flying past at almost 100 kilometres an hour. No protective gear and no regard for public safety. This cowboy scooter rider is just lucky no one was killed. I could not believe my eyes, so I was just shocked. It's a recipe for disaster. Whether you like it or not, electric scooters are slowly filling up our roads, footpaths and bikeways. Those you hire have their speeds restricted to below 25 kilometres per hour. But if you buy your own, the speeds can be frightening. And I've seen some fast ones, but nothing like that. It blew me away. Scott Lewis is a seasoned cyclist who regularly travels along this bikeway beside Brisbane's Western Freeway, always with his trusty GoPro camera filming just in case something happens. On this day, he got the shock of his life. I just had this massive rush be beside me and I just could not believe my eyes, so I was just shocked. I was angry too because uh, he came past quite close. You obviously ride a lot. Have you yeah. ever seen a scooter going that fast near you? Never. Never that fast. Normally, you'd never know exactly how fast it was going, but Scott found the rider again. And I looked a little further up the track and I saw he was there. And uh, because I was a little angry, I wanted to just... I just wanted to uh, talk to him and, and find a bit more about what he was doing while I was doing it. This time, the rider was dislodged and not wearing a helmet. Broken. Scott thought it was a mechanical problem, but the rider had actually bitten the dust. I had to ask him how fast we were going, so that's when he told me 94 k's an hour. You know how fast you were going? 94. 94. Yeah, trying to get to work. What did you think when he told you 94 k's an hour? I didn't know what to think. I had to repeat it just to just to make sure that that's what I uh, that's what he told to me. So yeah, just couldn't believe my ears. So. It's too dangerous, man. I know. For you and and other people on the track. When I'd spoken to him, I, I realised that he was actually in a bit of pain. So um, yeah, well I guess that's what's going to happen if you're going to take these risks. The electric scooter would have broken the speed limit for cars on the freeway beside, which is 90 kilometres per hour. Under Queensland law, e-scooters cannot be ridden any faster than 25 kilometres per hour. But the model used in this incident has a top speed of more than four times that limit. The Dragon Warrior X11 is more like a motorbike than scooter, Weighing 50 kilograms, it's built to go off-road with a top speed listed of 100 kilometres per hour. You can imagine the headaches these are causing for police. This crash happened on the Gold Coast, leaving its rider with critical head injuries. How serious are police taking this issue now? Well, we have to take it very seriously. We're seeing increased numbers of injuries. Acting Sergeant Duncan Hill is from the Brisbane City Highway Patrol. Speeding e-scooters have become such a problem in Queensland now, police officers are being deployed to catch offenders at peak travel times. Personally, I've caught two people doing f faster than 60 kilometres an hour on major roads within Brisbane City. Today's operation clocks some riders doing 34 kilometres per hour on the busy Goodwill Bridge, packed with pedestrians and cyclists. Do you know what the speed limit is for these devices? No, I don't, mate. These speeding riders are hit with a $194 fine. While this operation's been conducted here this morning, I've seen at least half a dozen pedestrians congratulating these officers for cracking down. Some are shouting, good on you boys, as they walk past. Quite a rare reception for a speed detection device. It's about time. These guys just don't realise how fast they're going. It's an accident waiting to happen. Fred is one of many relieved police are stepping in to slow these scooters down. And what does it feel like when they go so fast, just whizzing by It's you? actually quite scary because you don't hear them coming up behind you. There's just no need for it. These are footpaths, not motorways. People need to remember that and go at a speed appropriate for the area they're riding. 
Brisbane was one of the first Australian locations to introduce e-scooters, which are now spreading to all of our capital cities, though some are still on a trial basis. Most other states still have bans on privately owned scooters greater than 200 watts. The model involved in this incident has more than 5,000 watts of power. Unfortunately, the, the police can't stop people buying those machines. Queensland police are keen to speak with this rider, but with no requirement for scooters to be registered, it's not always easy to find them. We can't identify the riders at times, and they just go at a speed where they're not possible for us to catch. With the stakes so high, it's up to scooter riders to do the right thing. Please slow, slow down for your sake and for everyone else around you. 25 kilometres is the maximum speed limit. It's not necessarily the most appropriate speed limit for where you're travelling. Wear a helmet and take your time. Well, Queensland will soon lower the speed limit for scooters on footpaths to just 12 kilometres per hour. It is great to see police out with their speed guns catching these fools, but maybe it's time they were registered like the rest of us.